Hello, hello, hello. This is Prophetess Tay Janice. I'm here with another prophetic word from the Lord thy God. Before anything, you must seek the Lord by using your discernment spirit. You must also discern the voice of God by testing. You may discern what the will of God is for you to be sure this prophecy is indeed for you. Spirit of the living God, we come to you right now. We pause to tell you that we thank you, that we love you, that we adore you, that we trust you, that we magnify you, Father God. Father God, we stretch our hands to you right now, God, with thanksgiving in our hearts. God, I ask and pray that it be none of me and all of you touch each and every person that's watching this video, God. You know what they stand in the need of. Meet each and every household need of faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. How this message is, your kingdom spouse is not falling for the lies. Your kingdom spouse is not falling for the lies. So this message is not for everybody. You want to make sure that you take this message back to the Lord in prayer, right? Because whatever it is that the Lord is speaking to you, you're going to know whether or not, you know, this message is for you or not. So take everything back to the Lord into prayer. Amen. So you're in a place in your life to where you know that hey you have to be aware of your surroundings you have to be aware of what the lord is saying to you what the lord is speaking to you because it's very crucial you know that you do so you know the enemy does not want you to become the person that the lord has already ordained you to be that the lord has already orchestrated you to be and your kingdom spouse is like not falling for the lies you know you guys are standing up for what is right you're standing up for what the lord has given to you you are guarding your heart you're not falling for the okie doke you know you're not settling he's not taking your identity right he's not going to have the chance to come in and play my games and play and play tricks this is something that is old it's of the past you've had enough of it right you've learned your lesson from you know not guarding your heart not letting certain things and not let certain people you know get into your personal space and a lot of people are upset because you're in the season of isolation you're in a place to where you know god has literally told you to hey you know time out on this time out on that I need you to stay focused in me. You know, you have that discernment spirit to where you can pick up on what the Lord is instructing, you know, you to to do in this situation. And the enemy is upset because he thought that, you know, hey, you were going to be in full-blown depression, that you were going to stay in the situation that you were in. But no, you're not falling for the lies. You're moving forward in what the Lord has given to you. So you're not going to allow the lies of the enemy to lie to you about who you are in Christ and what you stand for. And I want to take you to the scripture that the Lord has given to me to give to you. So the scripture is coming from 1 Peter chapter 5, beginning at the 8th verse. It says, think seriously about how you live. Watch carefully for danger. Remember that the devil is your enemy. He wants to hurt you. He wants. He walks about like a hungry lion. He is looking for someone to kill and then to eat them, but you must be strong and fight against him and you must trust God completely. Remember this, believers all over the world are having the same kind of trouble. Yes, you will have trouble like this for a short time, but after that, God will make everything right and he is completely kind and he will always help you because you belong to Christ. Somebody ought to say that right now, because you belong to Christ. Say, I belong to God. So God will make everything all right in that relationship. God will make everything okay in that marriage. You belong to God. You've asked him for help. You've asked him for direction. You've asked him for, you know, his wisdom, his knowledge, and which way he wants you to go. So you're not falling for the lies of the enemy you're not allowing him to come in like a roaming lion that he is and seek your you know seek to destroy your happiness your joy your faith you know what the lord has given to you you're not allowing the enemy to come in and snatch that down no way you're not doing that so it says because you belong to christ god has chosen you to live with him in heaven forever you will join him in that beautiful place. Then God will make you well again. He will make you strong in your spirits. You will be able to stand strongly. Yes, God rules with power forever. Amen. This is true. This is true. And you know, you must be strong in the Lord to fight 
against, you know, the enemy to fight what, you know, he's trying to do with these lies. And it's a lot of people, right, that are so upset because you have pulled away from the lies. You're not accepting those things. You're not accepting anything small. You're not accepting breadcrumbs. You're not going to accept breadcrumbs because the Lord doesn't even give you breadcrumbs, right? He gives you his bread daily. What the Lord has for you is for you. So that person has to come and they have to come correct. And you're not falling for the lies. You want this to come together with the Lord and your relationship and your marriage, but you're not falling for the lies of the enemy. You are praying, right? You are in that place to where you know the Lord's voice. You know what he's saying to you. It doesn't matter what scam or trick that the enemy tries to pull. You're not falling for it. Hallelujah. I felt this so heavy for somebody. Amen. So it is essential that you understand who you are. You know, it's important that you know your place because if you don't know your place and your role, you know, in the life as a Christian, as a believer, as a child of God, you are in trouble. Um, the word tells us that our my people perish for lack of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You don't want to perish from that. You are not perishing from that because you have made up in your mind that hey i'm not falling for the lies i'm not falling for the breadcrumbs i'm not falling for the gaslighting i'm not falling and settling for less i'm doing what the lord has instructed me to do so you're already prepared and ready if you don't that's just saying if you stay ready you don't have to get ready so you're ready and prepared for this fight so that when the lord brings this relationship and this marriage back together and when you and a lot of you are walking into a new relationship a lot of you are engaged a lot of you are married and you're ready right you're not allowing the enemy to come in and steal kill and destroy why because you're putting an alarm system on what the lord has given you he's already equipped you with the tools you know in a situation you're pausing you're thinking okay wait who gave me this right whether this where did this thought come from where what happened you're asking questions right you're asking the lord for help you're stopping and you're pausing and you're allowing the lord to speak to you that's what happens when you have that relationship you're not easily angered at a situation you're allowing the lord to come in and help you you're not falling for the okie doke you're not falling for satan's matrix and his traps you know and his games and mind playing mind control no you're not falling for the lies this message is for somebody today. This is not for everybody. You know, you stay focused on what the Lord has instructed you to do. Don't go back on what God has given to you. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the throne of grace. Hallelujah. Spirit of the living God, we come to you as humble as we know how. God, thank you for this message on today that you've given to us. God, we ask right now that you begin to continue to fall fresh like the rain, that you begin to continue to blow like the wind. And God, we ask that you give us your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding, Father God. God, we ask that you pour into our hearts and our minds today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. And we silence the voice of every Goliath speaking negative in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We're on a mission, right? We're on a mission to make hell nervous because this is our year of answered prayers, right? If the enemy is going to be rapping, we'll be singing. We'll be doing a duet, but we're not going to allow the enemy to back us into a corner. We're not stopping until we get what God has for us. Amen. If you have a prayer request that you are in need of, um, send me a prayer request to the email if you need prayer. I'm doing email only. Thank you guys for your prayers, your support, your super thanks. Thank you for sowing into this ministry. Sow into the ministry as the Lord lays it on your heart to do so. I love you with the love of Christ. And guess what? There's nothing you can do about it. Shalom in the Lord. I'll see you in the next video.